Hello everyone, welcome back to Lego Bay City. We have an update for this video. And as you can see, we have that free space over there, which will be filled up by this bad boy right here. <laughs> no, not this one, but uh, this one uh, is a creation that I had maybe two years ago. It's a small version, half a base plate. Uh, at that time, I was very happy with it considering I had a small CT layout and I didn't want anything too big. Plus I didn't have a lot of parts to work with. So I just used um, a very small Iron Man armor suit set on the ground floor, as well as expanding the set that is the Avengers Towers that I think was released back in 2021 or 2020. Either way, we now have this. Uh, I thought I was not going to get it soon, but unfortunately I went to the Lego store on the 24th of this month thinking I'd buy some low cost sets on sale, which I did, but Lego gave me an offer I couldn't refuse with this one. They just basically said, sir, we have one more available and that's it. And that's all it took for me to buy this. Um, no, actually, uh, it had a bit of um, percentage off given that it's the first week of sale. So they have a promo like that. But whew, it was a tough decision that I, I had to make. I was really happy that I made it. I'm not regretting it at all. I was going to buy this anyway. So, hey, enough with the talk. I will be using parts of these. One, as the base, as you know, I have created several versions of the Avengers Tower base. I've now made six versions up to Mark VI, but I don't know. I might end up still doing something different because of the parts that are available in this set. It's totally different from my creation. So yeah, it'll be probably Mark Seven <laughs> or another version, but we shall see. Just remember, work with what you have and you'll be able to save up money and enjoy it as you go. So here we go. So this is the second floor of the base that I'm creating for my Avengers Tower. And it includes the mini builds that were in my previous mock. We have the Iron Man suits. We have there some weapons for our Avengers. And then on this side, there is an area where uh, they could rest for a bit. And it's great to be able to see that outside. And since this is sort of like two levels of the tower or the base i thought it would be nice to have that and given that height you can actually remove this portion here to reveal an another area where you have the infinity gauntlet and some extra space for more things like for example, this one came from the small set for the Guardians of the Galaxy. And I intend to put, um, put more details here, like uh, more minifigures, as well as more mini builds to make this thing look more detailed. But overall, I'm happy with the facade. And now I will be placing it on the area where I have the Avengers Tower so that I can test if this is strong enough to hold this and support the actual set. And that will be sort of like a trial and error for now. But I'm hopeful with, with enough support like this, it should be fine. Here we go. Here we are, guys. The Avengers Tower with the second floor of the base tower. Um, I've not yet done 
the ground floor, but I do intend to build it up as well. But as you can see now, it's humongous. It's so tall that it's towering over the Daily Bugle and the Sit Complex and the Sit Com Suites. It's become the tallest building in Lego Bay City so far. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so I finished the ground floor so far. I've done most of the interior, but I intend to put more details as I go. But I'll be leaving this for a day or at least overnight to see if the whole base holds up and it doesn't crumble into pieces. Looking at how it is now, it seems stable enough using the supports that are inside, which I showed earlier. So yeah, so it's working. Um, those who have built the different versions of my base tower should also have something similar in terms of the strength and stability of the base. So if you can imagine, this height here will have an additional height for the ground floor. So it will already be somewhat here in terms of the height of the daily bugle and then from here on upwards will be the avengers tower so yeah it's going to be taller <laughs> um that's scary to think about <laughs> but i'm very excited to be able to have that in the city very soon so yep yeah, um i'll cut this off for now and i'll work on the ground floor next including the details for the pavement and then i'll put it on top or at the bottom of this one there we go if you guys enjoyed this video please click the like and the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell until next time bye